Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I hope you guys are having another awesome day. Rick coming back at you. And oh my goodness, I hope you guys are able to take advantage of that Black Friday sale of crypto because everything dumped. Everything. And it was a great opportunity for you to get in at a lower price than what we've seen over the past week or two. I know I definitely took advantage of it. There were some great buys between Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP took a massive dip. Um, you guys know how I love my XRP. Um, also, Avalanche was on sale. A lot of the big name cryptos that have pumped over the past couple of weeks completely tanked. So hopefully you were able to take advantage of that. And that's something that I kind of want to touch on today. But before we get into it, make sure that you smash that subscribe button. I've noticed a lot of you are enjoying the content, you're getting a lot of value out of it, but you're not subscribed and you definitely don't have that notification button turned on either. And that's going to be important for you to do because I'm putting out fire right now. And this information that I am passing on through these videos, I want to remind you is not my information. A lot of this comes from successful people that I've personally learned from and I've seen success with. And a lot of this stuff is just tips and strategies that I've used to help uh, get the things that have helped set me apart financially and making that future look as bright as it possibly can. So if that's content that you find is going to be valuable for yourself, definitely make sure you smash that subscribe button, turn on the bell notification. I drop a video a day in a short a day. And um, again, none of what I say is going to be financial advice, but um, there is a lot of good stuff in here from beginner stuff to what cryptos are looking good right now, why they're looking good, and just, hey, here's what I've noticed in this specific sector. So definitely smash that subscribe button. And what I want to talk about today is something that holds a lot of people back from investing and holds a lot of people back in attaining the goals that they have for themselves, even if we're not talking about financially. And this is something that successful people experience too, but they get through it. And this thing that I'm talking about is everybody's favorite word, and that's fear. Fear. That's the reason why we saw the dip that we saw on Friday yesterday because of the Black Friday. It wasn't the, a Black Friday thing as to why it dipped, but it was the oil prices. And then also there was a new variant, supposedly, of the uh, C word, and that completely tanked the markets. But that stuff, what happens is this fear gets involved in that and people pull their money out because they don't know what's going to happen next. So what you want to understand about people who are successful and people who are wanting to be successful is the successful people, the only thing that sets them apart from the unsuccessful is that the successful people, they feel the fear and they do it anyways. They feel the fear and they do it anyways. So they saw this dip. They saw that there was crazy news happening right now. They saw the price of oil go up. They saw the uncertainty and they understood what was happening. And yes, they felt a little bit of fear too, but they move into investing and buying more anyways. That's why I started this video off by saying, I hope you guys got an opportunity to buy those dips because the people that are, are buying the dips are feeling the fear and they're doing it anyways. They're not worried about, well, okay, what's going to happen? Is it going to rebound? We know it's going to rebound. It's, it's a matter of when it's going to rebound. And that's the difference is successful people feel the fear and take action anyways, where unsuccessful people, they feel the fear and they allow it to hold them back and they don't take action toward that fear. And remember that if you allow fear to control your life, you're sitting in a comfort zone, you're sitting in this bubble and this is anything, this is relationships, this is friends, this is uh, improving your social circle, this is your body if you're trying to get in shape, this is anything, it's fear that's holding you back from attaining the goals that you want. So understand that the big difference and the common denominator between success and people that are not successful is they take action on their fears. They go after it. They face it head on. And they know that regardless of what the outcome of taking that action is, they're going to grow and become better for it because they're going to learn throughout the process. They're not going to let that fear hold them back and keep them where they are right now because they're not happy where they are right now. They need to be striving for more. And in order to do that, you have to feel the fear and move forward anyways. So I wanted to share that with you guys because Everybody experiences fear, but what you do after you experience that fear is going to dictate what happens next in your life. 
So during times of dips, what I personally do financially is I double down and I buy more. So I'm not telling you guys you need to do the same because again, this isn't just for financial stuff. This is for you going to the gym. This is asking that girl out. This is changing your friend circle if you feel like it needs to be changed or changing your job because you feel like it needs to be changed. Feel the fear of those things and then take action on it anyways because you have goals that you want to work towards. And if you stay in that comfort zone that you're in right now, you'll never achieve those goals. So I hope this video helped you guys. Of course, if it did, as I mentioned, smash that subscribe button, turn on the bell notification as well. That way you can feel the heat when I drop this fire because it's coming out every single day at you. And also I'm dropping uh, shorts, one short a day as well. And the shorts, these are less than one minute of just tips or things that, again, I've learned or information that I've received that I'm passing on that's easy to digest, something that's on the go that can help you kind of get that mindset right for reaching the next step. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and take care.